Hey, welcome to the first ever Spirit 2 Studios Month in Review. So uh, this is talking about everything that happened in the month of November for 2020. Uh, so let's dive right in. So the month started off with a bang. Uh, we were actually in New Haven right at the very end of October, towards the, uh, all the way to the beginning of November, uh, filming the beatification of uh, Blessed Father McGivney. Uh, you know, we do a lot of work with the Knights of Columbus, which is always awesome. And Father McGivney is their founder. And so um, he was recently uh, announced blessed. And, um, you know, just um, so many things to say about this. You know, we did a few documentaries leading up to the beatification uh, on him, his impact around the world. Um, about his life, the most recent uh, miracle um, on the little boy named Mikey. Just uh, that story is just awesome. But to be there for the beatification really was just a very special time for us. Um, we were there during the exhumation as well when they took his bones out um, and sent him to the Vatican. So uh, he's near and dear to our hearts. Um, there's a little recap that we put together f uh, for the nights from that. So uh, definitely check that out and kind of relive the ceremonies from that weekend. Well, we began post-production on The Creed, which is something we filmed in October. Um, the Creed is a new study program for Bishop Barron. Um, it was an awesome time filming with him. We were there for about a week in Santa Barbara. Head over to wordonfire.org if you want to stay up to date on all the progress for The Creed. In November, we also shot a pro-life short film. Um, we haven't shot a, a pro-life short film. We do a lot of pro-life work. Um, but most of it's documentary based or kind of commercial based. Um, this is the first time we've shot a, a pro-life short film since To Be Born. So if you've been with us since the beginning, if you're an OG Spirit Juice Studios follower, you remember To Be Born. Uh, it's the first one uh, from then. So really, really excited. Um, it's gonna be very powerful. Um, it's for Good Council Homes. Uh, it's gonna be used to show women who are in, you know, potential crisis pregnancies to, you know, ch choose to keep their child. So that'll be coming out very soon as well. Father Bob Lombardo uh, with the Franciscan Friars, who's actually now Bishop Bob Lombardo. Um, he so be, he became a bishop, and uh, with COVID, there were certain restrictions on um, the installation mask. So we weren't able to film that, but we were able to film. Uh, they did a, a fire truck parade. Uh, so <laughs> Bishop Bob and and uh, some of his, the nuns and, and uh, religious were on a, a fire truck driving through Chicago. Super crazy, it was really wild, and so we were able to film that, be on the fire truck. Um, really awesome opportunity. So this was big for us. We have a project that is on Amazon Prime and on iTunes. Um, we filmed a comedy special with Jen Fowler. We're gonna make that right there. The Naughty Corner. And uh, it got distribution, and it's now on Amazon and iTunes and some other streaming services as well. I actually got an exclusive on Pandora, like before the release. So really, just really wild. Um, Jen is hilarious, and there's not many female comedians out there, and there's very, very few clean female comedians. And I think there's like, she's like the only one female, clean, and Catholic. Um, but uh, yeah, it's great to watch, you know, uh, with the family. You don't gotta worry about any like weird jokes or anything. <laughs> we've all been there. You're watching something with your family and they say something, and you just kinda like stare at the screen and not look at your mom. <laughs> cause you're like, or you can't laugh either cause you're like, this is awkward. But you're, you're good with the Jen Fullwater comedy special. And the Emmy goes to, who is the priest? Spirit Juice Studios. We also won two Emmys this <laughs> this month. It's been, it's been a big month. The first one was Who is the Priest? Uh, it was a vocations video for the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. Who is the priest? He is not rich, for he has abandoned himself. And the Emmy goes to Everyday Heroes, No Greater Love, Spirit Juice Studios. Hendrick's life on this earth was focused on being kind, generous, and concerned for his friends and his family. It is no surprise that Kendrick sacrificed his life to save others. It doesn't surprise me at all. It didn't then and it doesn't now. You know, it's just the kind of person he was. A couple things at the office. Uh, we had some damaged tile, which required us to basically redo our whole first floor. So this is the old stuff, and that's the new stuff. 
made a big difference, you know, right when you walk in. Uh, I didn't realize how much I didn't like the old floor <laughs> until I saw the new stuff. So uh, next time you come visit us, uh, hopefully you can check it out. We also put two shorts out right at the end of November. Uh, one was a narrative and one was a little doc. Uh, the narrative was on appreciation, you know, appreciating what you have um, before it's gone. And the second one was on Venerable and um, It was kind of a, an addendum to the Black Faith Matters documentary um, called Bonus Features, uh, but really inspiring story, all the work she's done in New Orleans and, um, you know, founding the order that, that she started. We're excited about December. Um, it's the end of the year. I think a lot of us are ready for 2020 to be over with, but still blessed for everything that it's given us, uh, which has been a lot of still a lot of great things. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of God.